Hi, family and friends of St. John's. This is Father Kramer, your rector, coming to you with this video message, encouraging you to read the pastoral message that I sent out late last evening, letting you know how our bishop's new pastoral directive will be implemented at St. John's. The bishop released his pastoral directive last evening, early in the evening, with a directive that all gatherings, no matter their type or their size, immediately cease in the diocese, and that that directive be in place until May 10th, which would, of course, include Holy Week and Easter. I would encourage you please to read the directive from the bishop. It contains many important pieces of information and a lot of opportunities for you to be aware of. I'd also invite you to please read my pastoral message, which lets you know several of the things that we're trying to do at St. John's to keep you connected during these anxious and uncertain times. Uh, in that pastoral message from me, you will have a link to our parish YouTube channel, which is tinyurl.com slash sjeonline. And you'll be able to go to that YouTube channel throughout the week for a variety of opportunities for worship. I will be live streaming morning, uh, excuse me, noonday prayer with a meditation uh, Monday through uh, Thursday at 12.30. There will also be an offering of morning prayer with a sermon that will be a little more highly produced and will be um, live streamed from my home. Um, and I think as well from Nick Palmer's home um, uh, jointly at uh, 10 o'clock on Sundays. Um, there are many other opportunities for um, study, for formation, and for just parish and pastoral gatherings. So please do read the pastoral message. I'd also encourage you to be in touch with me if you have any questions or any needs during this time. I also want to encourage you to know that Cindy has indeed activated the new email group, Caring SJE, uh, which is available to respond to needs that might come up. Um, if you need help with anything during this time of restriction, whether that's groceries or meals or anything, please contact Cindy directly. Um, we'll also be using that, that email group of Caring SJE to reach out to parishioners, particularly those who are older, to make sure they're okay and see if there's anything we can do to take care of one another during these times. This is definitely an interesting Lent that we are all walking through, but I know that if we all take the appropriate precautions that we will move through it safely. Um, and on the other side of this, that we will have a wonderful, wonderful celebration sometime, hopefully in May. I look forward to seeing you in person then. And until then, I look forward to being with you online. Thanks.